आई एम द डायरेक्टर एंड हेड ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंटरनल मेडिसिन मैदानता दी मेडिसिटी आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर फ्यू बेसिक रूल्स और गाइडलाइंस फॉर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन पेशेंट्स दिस इज जस्ट अ रफ गाइडलाइन फॉर ट्रीटिंग कोविड नाइन्टीन पेशेंट्स एंड इन नो वे इट इज स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल we all know that covid-19 is a new virus and whole of the world is trying to learn and get wiser day by day from the experience of different countries what we know is that this virus could be very mild and self limiting in 80% of the patients so 80% of the patients who shows very mild fever cough cold uh throat irritation without any breathlessness or hemodynamic compromise they will get better with just symptomatic treatment and you need not to do anything specific for them for the patient rest of the patients 20% of the patients who need a health care advice hospitalizations and sometimes intensive care treatment there are few uh, medications which have been found to be helpful The first combination which found was found helpful in study in Spain was azithromycin and chloroquine. Both of these medicines are freely available and have been used for other infections and or other autoimmune conditions earlier. These medication are usually given for 5 days to a confirmed patient. ECG should be done before starting the medication and QTC interval should be measured before starting the medication. those who have either allergy confirmed allergy prior to uh, to this medication or have a prolonged qtc interval with this medication should not be used another category of medication is anti retroviral drugs lopinavir or and ritonavir combination which is also called a boosted riton lopinavir so this boosted lopinavir can also be used 200 by 550 mg capsule or tablet two tablets or capsules twice a day morning evening for maximum of 10 days so this has also found to have antiviral property and can be used the common side effects are uh, gastrointestinal side effects when we combine lopinavir ritonavir with chloroquine then there is increased side effects and there could also be problem with the qtc so one has to be very very careful uh, other experimental medications which can be used is one is remdesivir which is made by gilets it is an injectable form given for 5 days this is not available freely across the world it is given only for trial purposes only in few select countries now besides the anti viral medication and hydroxychloroquine there are other treatments which are one is because it is thought that the lung damage or the systemic damage is because of the cytokine storm so there are few people who are looking at using interleukin 6 inhibitor which is tocilizumab which is used in rheumatoid arthritis to control the inflammation has also been found to be helpful but it is still experimental under trial only theoretically there is also a role of zero convalescent uh, plasma so we know that in many viral infections they produce antibodies and if we use plasma from a healthy person into a sick patient this may be helpful the same was tried in h1n1 infection even during ebola and many other viral infections so this is also under trial whether a plasma from a patient who has recovered completely whether transfusing it to a healthy person would that help so all these modalities are all under investigation time will tell us whether it is helpful clearly or not but these are the few basic medication or other treatments which can help in covid 19